Hello everyone, I am Abhishek and today I am going to teach you how to build .NET 5 applications using VS Code. Before I get into the topic, let me introduce myself to you. I work as an intelligent cloud architect. I am a Microsoft certified trainer. I have designed and executed digital transformation for large scale enterprises across the globe. I am a C-Sharp Corner MVP. I am a published author and have published two books. Mastering Serverless Computing and Mastering Azure Kubernetes Service. I am a Microsoft Certified Professional and have completed certifications for Azure Solutions Architect Expert, Azure Developer Associate, Azure Fundamentals, Microsoft Certified AI Engineer and I am also TOGAF 9.2 Certified. So what I have in agenda for you today? We will see what Visual Studio Code is and why we need to use Visual Studio Code in the first place. We will learn how to create a .NET 5 console application. Then we will build and run a .NET 5 console application using Visual Studio Code. And then I will help you in setting up the debug environment for .NET 5 console applications in Visual Studio Code so that you can debug your applications. Okay. So what is Visual Studio Code? So it's an open source development tool or open source development uh, code editor, I would say. It's not an IDE, I'll come to that in a while. So when I say open source development, anyone can download it from the internet and start using it. Okay, it's freely available. So no need of paying anything, just need to start uh, using it by once you have downloaded it. It's truly cross platform. You can use either on your Windows or on your Mac platform. It is very easy to set up, just few clicks and uh, suppose uh, you want to use uh, some extensions, like there are a lot of extensions available with VS Code that I will show you how to install the extensions when we get into the demo. So very easily you can set it up and it is not just .NET based development you are going to do here or any Microsoft based development. You can also build your Python code, you can build or write your Angular code. So the possibilities is many. So a lo lot of JavaScript frameworks are nowadays built using VS Code. So it is easy to use, you just need to download the necessary extensions and get going. It is lightweight, it is not an IDE, a full blown IDE like a Visual Studio uh, uh, 2019. It is a lightweight code editor and uh, it doesn't have all the functionalities of uh, IDE because when we talk about IDE, it is an integrated uh, development environment. So you can do a lot using that. So for example, you can connect to a source repo, uh, you can easily debug your code uh, uh, using an ID and uh, also like uh, uh, you can uh, uh, publish your code to the target environments, like so many things you can do. But at the same time, though Visual Studio Code is a code editor, it's not an ID, you can also do all these things using extensions. You just need to plug in the right extension and get going. So it's all extension driven. So like for example, you want to publish your code to the Azure environment, you just need to take the Azure extensions or the necessary uh, extension that will help you in deploying to Azure. So, or like you want to do some Python developments, you just need to uh, take the extension for the Python development. If you want to use PowerShell, then PowerShell extensions. So, so many things are there. But again, at the same time, it is much more lighter in weight than an IDE. So now, I have already told you it supports a lot of extensions for end-to-end -end development and development lifecycle. You really don't need an ID nowadays. So you don't need a Visual Studio to do uh, developments for your applications. Everything you can do using VS Code. Only thing is that you need to learn all the tip, tips and tricks on how to work easily with VS Code. So let me just show you how to work on VS Code and build a .NET 5 application and teach you all these things what I just spoke in this slide. Go to code.visualstudio.com slash download and download the Visual Studio code and install it. If you are using the Windows laptop, then now you can install your Visual Studio code either in Windows 7, 8 or 10. If you are using Mac, then you can install the Visual Studio code on 10.10 .10 plus Mac OS. I'm currently using the Mac version. So I have downloaded the Mac version and I have used it. If you're using Windows, then download from here, click on this, you'll get the setup file and you can install it. Okay. So once you're done with the installation, open the Visual Studio code and this is how it will look like. 
the very first thing that you need to do is you need to install the C sharp extension. This is the one, this is the extension I've already installed or else you can search for this extension in the marketplace and you can install it. And for you, if you have not installed it yet, then like uh, you'll get an install option here. Likewise, I'm getting an uninstall option because I've already installed it. So install it, we'll be using this for C sharp developments. Okay, so we are going to build .NET 5 applications. So that is the reason why we need this extension installed so that we can uh, write C sharp code, we can debug it and we can do a lot more things there. I've also installed a couple of other extensions out here. Okay, so like uh, it's not needed as of now. You just need the C sharp extension to work on your uh, uh, .NET 5 uh, applications. Okay, so once you're done with that, let us like open a new folder okay where we are going to do the developments so let me get into this abhishek uh, directory let me create a new folder here i will name it as like say like uh, my demo app okay uh, demo app I'll do a create. I'm good. Now let me open it. Okay. So it's asking, you won't be getting this on Windows. Mac is a bit of a more uh, restricted environment. So I am getting this. Now what next? I need to generate the .NET code. Okay. Or a .NET project. So for that, go to the terminal here. Then uh, click on new terminal. Okay, a terminal will open here. And what next? I need to do dot net console new. This will create my Visual Studio code or, or rather like uh, dot net 5 uh, project inside Visual Studio code. So, sorry, the command is dot net new console. Okay, let me hit an enter. So see, it's creating this project. It has also restored the project like all the NuGets it has already installed. And this is how your program.cs looks like. All good till now. Okay. So now, what I need to do, I'll come to this later, like, uh, let me first uh, build this. So I need to build a project. So I need to give .NET build. So see with the .NET build command, this .NET, this .NET build command, I was able to build my project. Now I need to run it. But before that, let me clear my screen actually. Okay. Now I need to do .NET run. This will run my console application. Okay. See, I see a hello world here. Let me change some text here. Like uh, maybe I can take a new variable where x or where my name equals Abhishek and let me do something like this. Hello world. So it will print hello world Abhishek. Now with these changes, I need to save. Okay. I need to save this for that. You can do a file dot uh, like uh, go to the file and save it. You can do this or else you can also use your start keyboard shortcuts and you can save it. Okay. So once it is done, what next? I need to build it. Dot net build. All good. I can see that my project has built. Now I need to run it. .NET run. See, I got the output. Hello world Abhishek. Okay. All good till now. We were able to create a .NET project using Visual Studio code. We use the terminal to create the project. We were also able to build it. And then we were able to run it. But 
in the real development scenarios we'll have a need to debug the project so that if there are some issues we can actually figure out what is happening or we are doing some new developments definitely we'll need some debugging uh, you know, operations to be done so how we can debug it so let me tell you like again go uh, to the menus click on view click on the command palette okay what next this thing dotnet generate assets for build and debug let me repeat it dotnet generate assets for build and debug click on it so once you are done with this all necessary things that is needed for debugging your application will get configured by visual studio let me just repeat it it's very easy go to view command palette and then this one dot net generate asset for build and debug okay now what next i can put a breakpoint let me put a breakpoint here in the line number 9 and now let me go to run and click on start debugging it should break here let's see if it is breaking or not cool it has break like it's breaking here right i have hit the breakpoint okay it's breaking at the breakpoint i have hit the breakpoint now i can step in so what next i can go to the next step i can do an f10 either you can do a f10 or you can work with this uh, nice uh, uh, controls but in real time environment you are going to do definitely you are going to do an f10 so let me do this let me inspect what is there in my name i can see it's abhishek is there in the my name okay so uh, what next now let me do something more with this let us try to add this variable my name to the watch and let's see what happens or or whether we are able to watch this variable or not for this it's very easy click on this add and you can type your expression let me do my name so that i can see this my name the value of this my name in the runtime so what next i need to go to run start debugging now it will break here let's wait for a moment till it breaks okay it has broke here so like if you see the value of my name is null here let me do an f10 and go to the next step and let's see here now i have the value as abhishek as into my name so i am able to successfully add a watch here so while debugging your applications you can definitely add uh, this uh, watch here and also you can see a co call stack also here so if you have multiple functions calling each other you can see a call stack here so what i mean to say is you have so many nice options in vs code that can help you in debugging your application okay so that is what i had for you today i hope you like the video stay tuned i'm going to post more videos on VS Code in the upcoming days. Okay. Thank you.